what we're going to be doing in this video is to deploy a smart contract on scroll network and by the end of this video you'll click on this button and you will be eligible to claim the nft again the people who had specific nfts on aptos network got the airdrop up to six thousand dollars and people who had interacted with the testnet on aptos also got about two thousand dollars of airdrop money again on scroll we already covered how to interact with the testnet that video will be in the description of this video if you haven't checked it out already so let's not waste any more of your time let's jump right into the video i'm going to show you here all the steps that you need to take so in your wallets just make sure that you have a little bit of money on the arbitrum network you can use any other network basically but when you're using layer 2 it's going to be extremely cheap if you have about five dollars you should be good to go again you will have this list here this link here will find it in the description of this video or you can find it on our discord under the airdrop section actually about one month ago on our discord i posted that scroll airdrop is coming and it will be big obviously these are speculations but let's go ahead and actually get started with today's video. The first thing that you want to do is to visit scroll. So you can actually bridge to scroll by using the actual bridge, but this is going to be very expensive. So if you click here, you'll see that you have to bridge using the Ethereum network. We all know that the fees are extremely high. So instead of doing that, the first thing that you want to do is to go to chain list, click on this link here that I have provided for you in a document or just go to chain list and actually add the scroll network on your metamask how you do that you just click on add to metamask and this will be added directly on your metamask and click approve and that should be added and then you can switch on to scroll but we don't want to switch just yet i'm going to click cancel for now and let's move on to the next step which is basically bridging like i said you can bridge to scroll using the ethereum network but this is going to be extremely expensive however if you can find that the gas fees are extremely low you can use this maybe that will be part of the criteria as well but in this video we're going to be using a different bridge or we're going to be using a different method of getting the funds over and that's going to be on this link so just go ahead and click on that and then from here you want to make sure that you're on cross chain i'm going to click on this icon and then you can choose the blockchain that you want to use you can click on this plus 10 and you can basically choose from various blockchains in this case i want to select arbitrum so that's the blockchain that i'm moving from and i'm moving ethereum then below i'm going to select the destination chain this is going to be scroll for sure so make sure that you select scroll here you can see i haven't done anything prior to recording this video so the input amount that you want to bridge over here i'll really suggest that you at least move two dollars or even five dollars so let's go ahead and put the amount so let's go for 0 0.002 you can see this is about three dollars we are being charged one dollar eighty cents for the fees and there's about 50 cents that we're being charged for actually bridging so that's fine i'm gonna go ahead and just confirm it and i'll go ahead and confirm this all right so everything was done successfully you can click here to view this on the blockchain explorer but i'm just gonna exit out of that and exit out of this one too and close this one because we won't need it from here now this is the first method that we're going to be using which is deploying a smart contract this is the cheapest method as well however you've got a second method that you can use which is deploying a smart contract by using this code here basically using remix i'm going to show you in a moment but the second one is really not an option that you should be using because it's a little bit complicated so let's go and deploy a smart contract now that we bridge funds over to scroll now let me change my network to scroll and you can see that we will have some funds here so to deploy a smart contract we have to click on the first link click on that and then you want to click right at the bottom where it says deploy a smart contract so click on that then from here you want to select the basic contract click on that once make sure that you have scroll selected here otherwise you can use other blockchains but in this case we want to use the scroll network then i'm going to click on deploy you can see it cost about 14 cents to do this so i'm going to confirm it you can see now it's actually done you can actually go a step further by interacting with that contract so let's click on this icon you have to also process this transaction you can see it's extremely cheap so now basically we're having a transaction on the scroll network now it is done so what we can do now is to actually go and track our transaction history you can see what we did was to deploy a contract on the scroll network and also interact with that contract 
So basically that's all that you need to do and that's the simplest way of doing it. If you want to use the second method, which I do not recommend because it's also very expensive compared to the first one, you'll have to use something called Remix. Let me quickly show you how to do that. Here you can see that I'm already having Remix. You can actually click on this link that will take you directly to Remix. Then from here, you wanna create a new project or a new workplace. So just click here and create a new workplace. Then click on this icon that says create a new file. Then go ahead and name your file scroll.sol. You can see I already done mine. So I click on this one that's already created before. You can see this is the exact code that I have here. So just paste this code here and basically click deploy the contract. You'll have to verify that on your MetaMask and that's all that you need to do. But obviously that option is a little bit complicated, especially if you have never written a code before. So now that you actually completed everything here, the last one is to actually interact or do a transaction on scroll. So I'm gonna go to SyncSwap. By doing this, we're actually positioning ourselves for having some transaction on scroll very early. You'll recall that this is about the first month of scroll being on mainnet. So from here, you can select scroll here just make sure you under scroll. And then here we've got a little bit of Ethereum. So I'm gonna move that to USDC. So I'm gonna move 0 0.0001. And I'm gonna go ahead and swap that. You can see this is a transaction that we just did now using SyncSwap. So basically we have bridged to scroll and actually deployed a smart contract and also did some transaction. So now we can head back to the main website and just click on the main website and click on mint your NFT. Again, guys, you have about 37 days to do this. So do this as quickly as possible. It costs about a dollar. Basically, you just saw the transactions that we're actually paying. So if you have $5, you have no reason not to do this. So now you're going to scroll down and you want to click on check eligibility. Now you can see we are eligible to claim the NFT on the 15th of December. So you've got very limited time, guys act as quickly as possible the only thing that you have to do is to have maybe five or three dollars on the arbitrum network and go ahead and follow the steps that i've given you on this document again this document you can find it on our discord group and that group is going to be right here so just click on the airdrop section i'm actually pasting it here on our discord so go ahead and interact I'll see you guys on the next video. If you haven't watched our previous video on how to use scroll on a network, it cost you absolutely nothing, but you recall that people who had done the same thing on Aptos got about $2,000 of airdrop money. That video will be showing up on your screen right now. So go ahead and click on that video and learn how to do the very same thing or rather do some transactions on scroll using the testnet. I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye for now. Peace.